What's up guys? Um, I just want to make this video and just try to be as real as possible and just try to speak from my heart. Um, but, you know, one of the lies that I believe we as Christians can believe is that just because we're Christian, you know, life's going to be easy. Life is not going to be filled with, you know, ups and downs, trials. Um, and as Christians, we can feel like we always need to be joyful, right? Um, you know, I'm a Christian, so people have to see me joyful. And then what happens? Then we try to put on a front on social media and act like everything's fine. You know, we, we greet someone and they say, and we say, how are you doing? And they say, I'm fine. But the question is, are we actually fine? Are we actually okay you know and, and i just feel like you know society can have that effect on us because we we expect you know we need to be happy all the time we need to be joyful but man, it's not true you know for me personally i'm in a season of, of dryness right now but i know that the lord he's he's doing something we just have to know that it's for his, it's going to be for his glory. Uh, we have to ask ourselves, you know, what does he want us to learn in, in the season we're in? Um, and it can be discouraging, you know, but I just want to encourage you guys to, to keep going. Um, if you're in a season right now where God feels, you know, seems distant, um, or you're, you're experiencing a lot of heartache um, or trouble, you know, you look around what's going on around, you know, the world right now, it's very, uh, it's very overwhelming, it's very sad, but we just have to focus our eyes on the Lord, right, the author and perfecter of our faith, um, but, you know, I just want to let you guys know that we're not going to be perfect as Christians, you know, that's why Jesus had to come to die for us so that we could be saved and we could be made right with God. Um, and that's something that I'm trying to just see and just put my faith in the Lord to bring me out of these dark times, to carry me through. Because there's some times <laughs> where I feel like giving up. I feel like throwing in the towel, but I don't. Because the Lord, He is my strength. He is the reason why. I'm continuing to, to push and, and to pursue a relationship with Him and just to get better every day, you know. Uh, as Christians, we're going to stumble, we're going to fall, but we can't get discouraged by that, right? We have to know that we're justified already with God. The Bible says we're at peace with God, you know, and just I think when we focus in on that perspective, you know, and, and realize that. God says he no longer remembers our sins as far as the east is from the west. So I think when we focus in on that, you know, that gives us the strength, his grace, his love. It empowers us to get up when we fall, to get up and to not stay down there because God, you know, God has better plans than that, right? God has better plans than that sin. God has better plans than what I'm fooling around with. And I think the love of God is what compels us, it's, it's, it's what drives us uh, to pursue a relationship with Him. There's no, there's no love like it. Um, and, you know, I just want to encourage you, brothers and sisters, uh, who are watching this right now, you know, if the Lord directs you to watch this video, just know that you're not alone. You're not alone in your struggles. You're not alone in your temptations. You're not alone in your trouble, in your heartache. You know, there's millions of Christians around the world going through hard times right now. And it's this time where we as a church, we need to be the church that God has called us to be, that God has created us to be. Um, encouraging one another, you know, loving one another, just putting our interests to the side and focusing on the needs and interests of other people. We can only remain hopeful you know, even in our pain, even in our sorrow, we can still rejoice because we know that the Lord has already won. 
the battle is already won. We're just trying to finish the race and we're fighting the good fight. So I love you guys and I absolutely pray and hope this message encourage you guys. You're not alone.